November 11th became a universally recognized day of celebration. The day was originally declared Armistice Day, eight years after the end of World War I, and honored only veterans of that war. Then, in 1954, after World War II and the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day to honor all veterans who served America in war and defended democracy. So, today we honor all of our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. Welcome staff, students, and honored guests to today's Veterans Day ceremony, and thank you for attending. I'm honored to be speaking with you today on such an important occasion. Thinking of the heroes who join us in this group today, and those who are here only in spirit, a person can't help but feel awed by the enormity of what they have encountered. We stand in the midst of patriots and the families and friends of those who have nobly served. To all the veterans present today, I would like to thank you for answering your call to duty. You have made our armed forces the most respected in the world. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our guest speaker today is one of our own, Jim Rampley Jr. He is a 1987 graduate of Bell State High School. He served six years in the U.S. Army and completed his basic training in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. He has served in several locations, including Massachusetts, Texas, and Hawaii. Some of his accomplishments include Army Achievement Medal, Good Conduct Medal, Soldier of Excellence, Maintainer of the Year, and the Army Commendation Medal. Jimmy also earned the perfect score of 300 on the Army PT test several times. He and his wife, he and his wife Bobby, have two children, Trey and Nicole, and one grandson, Gatlin. They are the owners of Rampley's General Store here in Bell City and Rampley's Enterprises. Please welcome Sergeant Jim Rampley Jr. I really enjoyed my time in the Army and considered it a time that I grew up 
and I learned a lot of valuable lessons. It was an honor to serve my country in one of the most rewarding times in my life. Being a soldier in the Army gave me a sense of purpose, a feeling of patriotism. You get to travel and visit some beautiful places, meet a lot of great people, and make a lot of lifelong friends. You also learn a lot of valuable skills. I lived with my family in Hawaii for over four years, which honestly was fantastic. While living in Hawaii, the Army even paid for my way into college. I got a bachelor's degree in computer science from Hawaii Pacific University. Since getting out of the Army, I made a career out of working on internet scale networks, which are the skills that I originally learned while I was in the Army. I have recommended to many people to join or consider joining one of the branches of the military. And that's basically because of my experiences and the improvement it made in me and my family life. For many years after getting out of the Army, I felt awkward when people would thank me for my service. People would thank me in ceremonies like this. And I was appreciative. However, I always felt appreciation for veterans should be reserved for veterans who didn't enjoy it and get as much value out of it as I did. I do appreciate it when someone thanks me for my service. And I have come to the conclusion that we should thank all veterans who have served honorably in either war or peacetime. <coughs> but why do we hold veterans in such high regard? My theory is it's the admiration that we have for military and veterans is encoding, encoded in our operating system. And I'm not talking about the operating system that's in your gadget or your iPhone that's in your pocket. I'm talking about the operating system that's in all of us. It's, um, you know, there, there are parts of the operating system that we were born with, and there's parts that we learn along the way. You know, an example that's something that's genetically coded in our operating system is our heartbeat. You know, we don't have to think about our heartbeat, it just happens. It just things happen all the time, right? You know, examples of things that we learn are things that you know, you're learning in school. You know, you start out in kindergarten and you, uh, you know, you're learning basic functions. You're, you're progressing through elementary and middle school and into high school. These great teachers at Bell City are teaching you new subjects and you're upgrading your software all along the way. You might even get in trouble and be sent to the principal's office and Mr. Wright and Ms. Tompkins. You know, does some software analysis and they determine that you've got a bug in your code and they may give you an immediate software upgrade. I think one key feature of our operating system is that when we get a good feeling from people who we know we can trust and depend on, generally speaking, we know we can trust and depend on people who serve and protect us and our great nation. And that is the job of soldiers, airmen, sailors, marines, and guardians.
time we will now introduce our veterans that are attending today. Um, please stand and we will give an ovation after every um, one that we announce. Bob McIntyre, specialist in the Army, year served too. Thank you for your service. <clears throat> Cleo Beeson, specialist in the Army, served for two years. We thank you for your service. Robert Hess, Specialist of the Army from 1965 to 19, 1967. Thank you for your service. Specialist in the Army, served for five years. We thank you for your service. Wyatt Smith, Specialist Promotable in the Army, year served four. Thank you for your service. John Price, Staff Sergeant in the Army, served from 1971 to 2006. We thank you for your service. <laughs> Michael Lee, Corporal in the Army for eight and a half years. Thank you for your service. Jerry Yates, 
staff sergeant in the Air Force, served from 1980 to 1988. Jim Rapley Jr., sergeant in the Army from 1990 to 1996. Kevin Hunt, commander of the U.S. Navy Reserve, served from 1991 to 2019. We thank you for Aaron Tompkins, Sergeant of the Army National Guard. <laughs> Dan Rankley Sr., Specialist for the Army Aviation, served from 1955 to 1959. We thank you for your service. <laughs> Dustin Gerald. Specialist in the Army from 2002 to 2010. <laughs> David Kite, Specialist of the Army, served from 1984 to 1989. We thank you for your service. <laughs> Gary McIntyre, Specialist of the National Guard, honorable discharge. We thank you for your service. <laughs> On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserved our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all of our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. This is the conclusion of our ceremony. We thank everyone for joining us today. Students with parents and grandparents who are veterans should stay for pictures. There will be refreshments and pictures in the cafeteria for veterans and their guests.